G'day guys, Lemon Eating Cow here, and today I am back playing Horizon on the PS4. Now, I've bought you separate guides on how to farm experience and how to farm modification chips, but today I'm going to bring you a guide on how to do both in the same place. And also at the end, I'm going to give you a little bit of a bonus and uh, show you how you could possibly farm even a little bit more XP. So I'm probably about early to mid game at this point. I'm to the west of the map in the uh, the desert biome and it's, it's fairly easy to get to. Um, but there's going to be a few things that you're going to want to make it a little bit easier for you. So I recommend the skill Heavy Lifter. It's not imperative, but it will help out. And also a Shadow Sharp Shot Bow. Now that bow is important because it'll have the tear, tear blast arrows which uh, rip parts of monsters off really really easy so that's going to make this uh, incredibly quick. So from the bonfire head over to your left and you will see a big ass thunder jaw. Uh, usually these guys are pretty hard to take out but with the tear blast arrows you can shoot them into the two missile packs on his back try and get rid of those and also it helps if you can aim for his face and try and get off those two lasers on the uh, on his muzzle. Now, by shooting off the two packs on his back, they will actually drop onto the ground and become weapons that you can use. Uh, it's recommended that you try and get them off as close to each other as possible, just to make this a little bit easier. But once you've knocked them off, grab one of them by pressing triangle, and then just go to town on the uh, Thunderjaw. Now, it'll take all the 12 shots of the first one. Try and hit off as many components as you can. The more components you knock off, the more experience you'll get. You'll actually get 300 experience per component knocked off. So depending on how many you knock off, you can get more or less uh, experience on this one. So hopefully after about 12, 13 shots, he'll fall over and take a bit of extra damage. And then hopefully you can clean him up with the last launcher. As you can see there, I'm knocking off quite a few parts and getting 300 experience each time I do. And then when you take him out, you'll get 3,680 experience as well. But not only that, when you loot him every single time, you'll get three very rare modification chips. So really, really quick little farm there. But also, not only are you getting experience, you're also getting these modification chips. Once you've done that, all you have to do is fast travel back to the campfire. Now, if you don't save and reload your game, you'll see that the corpse is still there. What you're actually going to have to do is do a quick save and then load that topmost save and then it'll trick the game into thinking that you've left the area and it will respawn that thunder jaw for you. So here we just did the save and now we're loading again and if we look over to our left we should be able to see the thunder jaw. Now it's uh in this video I kept it in because it was a mistake of mine but be careful not to aggro the uh the grazers or the stampers, I'm not sure of their name, on the right because they will kind of troll you on your hunt. Like that. <laughs> so uh, try and avoid aggroing these guys and just sneak around and kill the Thunderjaw. Now another little bonus part of this guide is if you can actually manage to take one of the rocket launchers or disc launchers off the Thunderjaw and get back to the campfire, all you have to do is quick save your game and then reload your topmost game and you will have full ammo again on that disc launcher. Now there's a few of these stamper guys that you can take out uh, and also sometimes there'll be uh, some of the birds will spawn as well. So if you get really good with your shots and lucky you can get the birds to spawn and the stampers so that's even more experience. The only thing is with this is that you have to make sure you go back to the bonfire when you've got one ammo or more but you have to have at least one ammo for this to keep on working. So once you're on the one, one ammo, you just go back, quick save, and then load your game again. And once you come back in, you'll have that 12 ammo again. Now, this may not work for everyone. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, I guess, but I found it pretty fun to just keep using the blaster. But definitely killing the Thunderjaw and getting his modification ships is gonna be a really, really fast way to level. And this one on the end is just a bit more fun. And I'll show, show you how to exploit the uh, monster weaponry. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that guide. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you got any comments or suggestions or any other way to make this guide more efficient, then let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. Me, you, you, me.